Yeah, what sick. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, I'm actually excited. This is fun. I know. I know. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. How it's going to turn? Well, it'll turn out great because oh, you're great. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> am I right? Am I right? <laughs> or am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. Right eh? Um. Sweet. <laughs> this, is, this is great. It's uh, actually a real good light. I mean, like, I, this isn't even like a thing I do. So, well, I mean, how would I know? Well, we've got no nothing to go by. No. So this is the best one you've ever done. It's the only one you've ever done. No, I'd go with the best. I don't even know what to call it. Hey. Life um, is the way podcast. Red van podcast. Interview. Uh, all that stuff. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Along the track. All right. So, real quick for those that don't know, for those that, are, that haven't met Blake yet or don't um, follow the, the Facebook or Instagram, Blake and I met in Port Macquarie and it was actually a pretty funny experience. Um, I was just organising a yoga class. I'd actually seen him the day before in his van, um, covered in cool drawings and pictures and, and sentences and thought he looked like a pretty cool character, but he was had his head down doing something. So I let him go and then Literally did a post on eating chocolate, funnily enough, and made a few puns and said, did you see what I did there? And then I looked down and had a message from Blake, Gypsy Soul Surfer, saying, hey, I, I see what you did there. And then looked up and saw his van outside my window and walked over and I'm like, hey man, are you, are you this guy? And he said, yes. And you could tell from his piercing blue eyes, which is awesome, and then yeah, we pretty much, he came to a yoga session after that and we, we got along pretty well, I suppose. Well, you know, chatting at the same time and doing the same size, didn't we? Yeah, man. Which was pretty fun. Been good. And then I said, hey, you should come to Tankari and Foster. And he did. And then he came to Boomerang. We've been smashing coffees together. Guy knows, guy can froth a milk. Can froth. If I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, I think he's a pretty interesting character and definitely um, super good company as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. Thanks, so man. I guess, because I've never done this, so I'd, I'm going to maybe just like pitch a few questions here and there with like some generic ones at the end that I just give to everyone, or I will do from now on if yeah, I do no another worries. podcast. I mean, obviously, um, just to jump in, I mean, like, you know, whether it's you get through 10 or 50 or 100 questions or, you know, you know how some stories, they kind of go to, they create the next question. Yeah, yeah. All that fun stuff. I mean... We'll just smash it out uh, the best we can. Um, and for those of you who are interested in a little bit more, I'm sure there'll be, um, you know, a link to my Instagram. Yeah. Empty Soul Surfer. Absolutely. Um, you know, just, I mean, if you wanted to follow my journey and what I'm doing, which is, you know, very similar to what you're doing, Tommy, but to, you know, not to, um, you know, discredit what you're, you're doing, far greater no. things than what I'm Similar path. At the moment, but no, similar path, that's what I'm saying. So, this is great. I really enjoy that you've started, you're actually doing it. This is the first one of many interviews of interesting folk. Oh, you think you're interesting now, do you? Oh, I think I'm, <laughs> uh, I think, I think I'm very interesting. Uh, no, no, I do. Um, no, and you're right. Yep, we'll definitely, yeah, spring we'll questions. expand more. I guess from here, well, I'll, let's just kick off. Maybe... Just tell us your story, and I guess without sort of speaking about us, because everyone's just found that out, how you got to hanging out in port and, and touring up and down the East Coast, oh, doing what you do, and right. yeah, what, what's what's going on with you? Like, just give us your backstory. Backstory, well, I mean, I was a quick little rundown at the moment. I'm pretty, uh, I mean, you know, I'm living out of my van. Well, I live outdoors, I sleep in my van, or sometimes on the roof in my swag. But um, I'm, just, um, I'm just cruising up and down the east coast of Australia, um, mainly between Noosa and Newcastle. Um, I spent most of my time around Port Macquarie, Crescent Head. Uh, grew up around Coffs Harbour, went to high school at Mugulga. And um, so basically what I'd done was when I finished my year 12, I moved from Whoopi to Port Macquarie. I didn't really know anyone down there, I knew one, one or two people. Um, Spent about a year down there, and then I uh, mean a few mates. We moved up to the Gold Coast, as you do when you're 19, 20. Went to the Goldie, run a muck up there for 
four or five years, and then I kind of realised, you know, what am I doing? It's, you know, Gold Coast is pretty busy and pretentious at times and overcrowded. And I mean, you know, sure, there's, there's nice little spots here and there. You've got to find them, and which I did, but I, I was kind of missing the small beach vibe, which I had growing up um, at Karingi Beach and Whoopi and, and Port Macquarie. And so I decided to move back from the Gold Coast down to Port Macquarie. Um, and then I started work as a barista at a little cafe in town. And I had the idea to, because um, we used to do delivery, you know, used to deliver coffees around to the local businesses and that, for people who can't shut shop and go and get a coffee. And then I decided it wouldn't be quicker and more efficient to deliver coffees on El Auto. So I done that, which was fun. And, you know, little it, it was just fun everyone loved it I loved it it was great never spilled a drop luckily you know there's, there's some sketchy moments but everyone got their coffees hot and so you would literally like your coffee crew would make the coffees I, I would make the coffee oh you would make them as well so yeah. you'd be making them chuck them in like a tray and then yeah. just dart off with yeah. four four coffees or uh, six to ten six to ten. ten was my yeah actually I think ten was my ten or twelve was my it was just a one tray with one, two, three, four, five, six, and another tray on top. What? And then I'd skate around the corner to the uh, cop shop and deliver, <laughs> to deliver the them to the cops. Yeah, to the coppers. And then just everyone else in the industrial area in town there. And oh, just in the main sort of drag in town, just that like that loop, you know, within a relatively, you know, I wasn't going across the other side of town or anything like that. But yeah. Anyway, that was a bit of fun. I'd done that, and they threw it in the front page of the Port News and in the Sydney paper and men's health magazine ran a little column yeah page spread thousand bucks thanks guys that's all right that funded my then noosa um my first trip up north in the van and was that can i ask was that done on that skateboard no it wasn't done on this board it was done on my um that 1980s stacy peralta reissue yeah right with wheels falling off it and yeah that one which is obviously the, yeah a bit wider and a bit longer if you'd done it on that with 12 copies i would have probably uh yeah i'd probably yeah could be a mission yeah doable but but that was um, that was a good time and then that's when I started my van life you know living out of vans and traveling a lot more once I that was I think 2000 and, I don't know, 2010 2011 ish almost almost 10 years ago but you know so basically from there I, I went from Port Macquarie up to Noosa in not the van I have now it was another van that I had and then just kind of floated, you know, Noosa, Byron, Lennox, back to Emerald Beach, Coffs Harbour, back to Port Macquarie, um, you know, back north again. It just anywhere, anytime. Um, and I kind of haven't stopped, you know, I've been working up and down the coast, you know, all sorts of labouring and lawn mowing and landscaping and, you know, helping out at the surf school in the afternoons and just picking up work. Right on. Used to work. And, um,. I guess I'd love to just touch on really quickly, I mean, one of your massive epic trades is basically between Noosa and Newcastle, you do have a wealth of knowledge of best beach breaks, best places to, I mean, you know, I'm going to say park up your van without getting hassled by yeah. the local authorities. Yes. And um, one of the things that I've noticed, which, you know, I, I do as well, which is great, um, probably not for as long as you have, obviously, but you pick up all your own rubbish oh. and then before you leave you do a full on park up par car park sweep and the beach and the beach and like you'll I'm come surfing, out with like two yeah. boxes of rubbish oh oh well yeah I mean other people do as well yeah I mean obviously but I never yeah good thing you brought that up actually I just it, it is it, I mean you know like we're, we're, I'm living off the land sort of thing I mean I'm not foraging for food or anything like that but you know I'm, I'm living in the great outdoors and um, you know I'm never too far from the beach um, and if I see a car park with other people's rubbish cigarette butts um, fishing line actually and this morning I got a fishing hook stuck in my foot with a with a sinker and um, so how inconsiderate of that plane I think it's a jet <laughs> <laughs> oh what just stop yeah it's gone oh wait Oh, it's I'm not your fault. I'm expecting it to like come flying over. Yeah, so am I actually. Um, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. 
any any place I park, I just I have to leave it better than I found it. I mean, that's only fair, you know. I mean, whether it's people intentionally throwing their rubbish down or whether it's blowing out of over, overflowing bins, um, and I recycle what I can. And um, and even when I'm out surfing, if there's something floating out a bit further, like I'll go out and get it. It's a bit, you know, sometimes a bit sketchy, but whatever. So, and as you do too, Tommy, you pick up. Oh, we gotta do it. for sure, and I think you know, as I'm sure you'll agree, if, to, um, if we're to sort of try and keep living this lifestyle on the road and, and out of our vans, then the best thing we can try and do is to keep those places clean. So number one, the locals yeah. are happy, and it's a respect thing, not yeah. just for the locals. Just I mean, it's also too, you know, I mean, I don't really mind what people, everyone has an opinion, whatever. But you know, if I'm mistaken for just a backpacker, you know, there there is sort of not a negative vibe towards backpackers but you know when when they're traveling two or three or four and that you know beer bottles and loud music and, and rubbish and stuff I mean you know it happens but um it's like I, I do my best to not get mistaken for you know just another traveler but you know if they want to stop and have a yarn they'll soon know I'm just doing my thing and cruising and nine times out of ten they'll know someone I know and then you know friendship will form and it's good yep perfect that's good brother mm -hmm. and uh, can I hit you up I mean we could go back and forth here being the first one because I just wrote some notes down but your current van is called the rolling canvas that's the nickname I've given it yep as of late tell us more about that and uh, what what you like about that alright well I was over in um, California and Hawaii for about 12 months um, I came back probably June last year, which would be 2017, I got back. And I saw on Instagram or Facebook, one of the two, that uh, a friend of mine or an acquaintance of mine, a surfer, was selling his van named Barry. The van name, not the guy who was selling the van. <laughs> yeah, I got it. And uh, Barry White, actually, is what he named him, because he was completely white on the outside, as most vans are. But the inside was all sky blue, stickers, all that fun stuff, pretty cool. Um, so I picked that van up for 1200 with six months rego and that, you know, straight away I've got transport and somewhere to live. You know, coming back from overseas, you never know what you're sort of stepping into, but, um, you know, as soon as I was back and people heard I was back, it was just, come work here, come work there, you know, kind of thing, which is great. I appreciate it and very thankful. But as for the van, I had a bit of an idea that I'm just driving around in this rolling canvas and I'm not very artistic when it comes to drawing. Um, so I figured I'd just go and buy a whole bunch of coloured paint pens and all these um, travellers and tourists and friends of mine, if they just want a bit of a draw or, you know, write their favourite quote, draw a picture, um, you know, let the kids after surf school have a bit of a draw on it, just for people, it's basically for everyone else to express whatever they're feeling, uh, whatever message they want to write or draw, 99% um, of it's all positive and happy and fun and there's been a couple of you know little bits and pieces I've had to clean off <laughs> but um that's not to disrespect what they wrote at the time but certain swear words and pictures aren't so great as an image for what I'm doing no so basically the rolling canvas is um is there for for you and for everyone else just to have a bit of a draw right on, brother. Love. and it looks sick Thanks. yeah and, and we'll We'll flick to some footage within this oh, yeah. um, little vid cool. of that. Uh, so, and that's speaking of, of what you want to do. I mean, I know from hanging out with you for the last almost like three weeks, you've got a bucket of ideas. Um, oh, yeah. But hit us up with, uh, let, let's go for like, I'm going to say, call me crazy, but your biggest, or maybe I'm just guessing here, but the whole surf lessons, free surf lessons. Yeah. I just want to know, I mean, you've got five epic boards, five really nice big boards, almost what, four of them long boards, one of them short board, and uh, you want to start three running... Three long, one mid, and one short. Yeah. So... And you want to start running, you want to basically give people free surf lessons. Yeah. And, um, yeah, tell us tell us more about that, because I remember when you first said that. Well, about... basically, I've, I've just, you know, I... Sometimes I actually find it hard to sleep at night, just because I've got, I'm so excited for the next day. I've got, like, all these great ideas, and I just want a pen and paper, and I just want to bounce them off a few people or do a bit of research and find out how to go about certain things and um, 
and you know, since I first picked up a surfboard, which was only about seven or eight years ago, um, I still remember my first wave, and um, and that feeling that I got when I when I paddled on myself, I paddled on, stood up and got my balance and started going down the line, and just that feeling. Oh man, I couldn't look at anything the same ever again. Sick. So that that stoke, which I just take everywhere, even when I'm not surfing, whether it's skating, whether it's cooking up a feed or whether it's whatever, there's a good song on. I'm just, everyone around, I just, you know, just want to share the stoke and get people just pumped. And what better way than, hey, I've got all these surfboards, they're just sitting here, you know, let's go, grab yeah. a board, I'll take you out. So I meet a lot of travellers, especially, I, you know, when I'm bumming at the beach after a surf or before a surf. Um, a lot of campers come up in the afternoon, especially, and say, um, you know, is it, can we park here? Is it okay? like, you know, where is it good to park? Or, you know, that's a terrible accent, but... <laughs> <laughs> where is it good to park? <laughs> is it good to park here or van here? So, <laughs> so what I do is, um, I kind of go, oh, no, this is just kind of like hang out after surf, but um, there's a little spot around here, and I kind of, you know, I know what it's like traveling in, in places uh, you're not familiar with, and it's, you know, to, to have someone come on and go, hey, like, here's a nice little cafe, or here's, here's some Wi-Fi, or here's a, here's a hot shower that you can go and have a quick hot shower, or you know, here's a nice little quiet spot to park where the rangers aren't gonna hassle you, or here's a better beach because the wind is doing this and the swell's doing this. And then um, sometimes it's easier just to go, hey, um, I, you know, I don't see, you have any surfboards, that's, would you like to come for a surf? I'm about yeah. to go right now, like come and for get sure. in the water. You know, don't be embarrassed, don't be shy. Um, come out, you know, I'll, teach you a little bit just you know little tips and tricks but mostly it's just to get, for them to get out there without you know being babied you know like being pushed on the waves or anything like that it's just like hey grab a board i'm not even watching i'm just gonna go and surf just have a float have a paddle have a laugh you know fall off get dumped do a bloody you know just as long as as long as they're having fun and if they they really go hey look you know i really want to get this and i'll and i'll put my board down and i'll go out and and i will give them a couple of pointers and encouragement and just be so stoked and then afterwards you, they're like, oh man just you can tell by the look in their eye the expression on their face they're just so excited um changes and, the name oh it does and because i keep in touch with, with most of them on instagram or you know i might grab the email or i might you know give them my number or vice versa and then i figure you know a lot of them are traveling from sydney to cairns or cairns to sydney and um i just give them a little you know take five minutes to jot down a couple of cool spots along the way you know you can see kangaroos here there's a really cool camp spot here really cool cafe here check this town out if you want this is just the guide you'll meet other people who will tell you other towns but this is just my little gift to you guys and um you know seeing the photos that these guys are putting up of like with the surfboards or like you know thank you so much for hanging out and you know showing us this cool spot and it's really um it just feels really good to feel like you know that are making a difference or just helping someone out for sure. as, as little as it may be whether it's oh you've run out of gas um here's a gas can to finish cooking your dinner yeah you know absolutely just man. all these little things and if more people can just do little bits like that i think oh it's just it's a game changer yeah definitely and what's i guess the only thing i want to touch on with that i mean i'll ask a question is i mean you know life is the way we're rocking out donation yoga and donation coffees where people pay what they want yeah, so with the surfing, which is good but you're you're rolling total freebies total, total freebies yeah well, i mean like and that's the thing i mean like i i don't think i'd feel comfortable you know putting a like you know being, having a talk yeah i've got some surfboards want we'll to come for a surf oh but you know do you have 10 bucks or oh yeah let's go for surf blah blah and then afterwards go oh if you guys want to swing as 20 that's cool like i don't know i just don't feel it just doesn't sit right with me but I, I get it I've like, got to eat got to buy fuel skeeters <laughs> haters gonna hate skeeters gotta eat <laughs> yep but um I don't know I'll figure that one out I mean whether I do very similar to you just put up get a little chalkboard mm. um you know sur surf lessons um donations greatly appreciated I don't know like I'll, I'll simplify it like, yeah I, for sure I mean even if it is five bucks it's five bucks you know that's you know, so dinner right there. Five bucks. That's dinner right there. So, bunch of veggies. We'll see how we go, but it's not just. You know, it's not. It's not about the money, but um, you know, like I said, at the moment, 
I'm driving a van that uses fuel, you know, every six months or so. There's Rego. Got it. So. Yeah. <laughs> but see how we go. I mean, I've got. And you can pick up other work, like you said. You've got bits work, and pieces. Other bits and pieces. That's, like, that's paid, you know. paid stuff. And as long as you've got money in the bank, then you can probably afford to go out and. And do it for, you know. Yeah. For next and up. And, and if someone at the end of it, hypothetically speaking, if you did take, you know, a couple out for a lesson for an hour and at the end they kind of said, oh, hey, you know, thanks so much, can we sort of give you this? Do you think on that those terms that you would accept a payment if it was on they were like we really want to sort of say thanks by giving you this 20 bucks or this bowl of soup or whatever yeah, it might yeah. be oh i mean of course because when i you know want to give somebody something and they're all like oh no 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 but i'm like no 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 really like, i want you to have it like because it makes me feel good to, to give something back yeah and, that, and that's how they you know it, it is it is that that depends at, at the time you know if someone you know wants to go oh look let me give you like 50 I'll be like no way like you know even though like 50 bucks cool that's like two and a half free surf lessons yeah yeah but yeah, it, I, I guess it depends who it is I mean like for friends or acquaintances and that sort of stuff like I don't know I guess it would just be at, at the time I'll let you know yeah absolutely but really I mean that's not the that's not the basis or the drive of what it is my main thing is if I can just get that one person on that board so stoked even if it's for just that 10 minutes or like so stoked and they're just buzzing for that whole afternoon they might start doing things a little bit differently or they might start they might even go and buy themselves a surfboard I mm. don't know yeah yeah but I just know how I feel after a surf and I think the world would be a much better place to be if a lot more people felt that way for longer yeah you know and Absolutely. most surfers I meet you know they're all you know they care about the environment they care about the car park if it looks like there's rubbish everywhere or they care about the, the water quality or like they're tuned in with the wind and the and the you know the weather and it's um yeah it's interesting I like, yeah um would you say i guess just sort of on that kind of work thing i mean if if you could click your fingers right now and have exactly your dream job i mean you know i'm gonna go out on the whim here and guess something to do with like i mean and this kind of just came to me now but you've got the rolling canvas where people can just draw on the side of your van you've got six surfboards you know that are all good to learn on um and then you've got this wealth of knowledge from noosa to newcastle of where people can stay i mean you could especially potentially start between, this like especially between port macquarie and especially between port macquarie cox harbour port macquarie and byron yeah so you could even you could even start something out. Like, you know, people just follow you in their van and you just take them to yeah. all the spots. Let them yeah. draw on your van, teach them to surf, teach yeah. them to skate, play some guitar for them, pull yeah, for the sure. keyboard out. Yep. Um, I guess well, dream job. I mean, I don't think I don't think it'll be a job because if it's something you love doing, it's not work, so it's not a job. Yeah, and I hear that. for it to be a dream, well, if it's reality, then it's not a dream. Like everyone, anyone could do anything if they really want to. You know, it's people are so like, oh, you're living the dream. Well. Yeah, maybe, but because I didn't want it to be just a dream. I didn't want it to be a nine to five locked in with a mortgage and and all that stuff. Because then, yeah, it would be a dream. Because how else, you know, how else are you supposed to go to do this if you're sort of locked in to other stuff? So yeah, everyone, you know, that's just choices. I mean, some choices might take a few years for ten years even to pan out. You know, you slowly got to make slow cha you know, small changes and all that stuff. But um. As for me, I just, I've kind of always been a little bit free-spirited and sort of here today, gone tomorrow, up and down the coast the last 15 years between Newry and Noosa. And, and I guess now, coming back to that question, is the dream job, well, as my like Instagram sort of write-up says, kind of like, you know, adventure, like, you know, like tour guide, adventure man, surf buddy kind of thing. If I could do that... Skating and, barista. Oh, all that fun stuff. Yeah. If I could do that and have a roof over my head, food in my belly, and fuel in the tank, and a couple of extra bucks, you know, for block of wax here and there, or, you know? Yeah. Um, I guess, isn't that living? Is, that's... That's living? That's all I need, really. Yeah, absolutely. So... I think that's sure. living. So if I, if, I, if I continue doing what we've been talking about in our little coffee dates, and, yeah. you know, hanging out under the pine trees, and skating around and I mean if I if I really you know 
Like even just now, we've got four or five travelers over there waiting to go for a, a surf lesson, basically. So yeah, it, it's just, which is it's, perfect. One oh, I almost broke your board before. Oh. <laughs> we'll have a look at that clip later. <laughs> and that was, yeah, and it wasn't even in the water. They're learning. They're learning. They didn't. They've never seen a surfboard. Oh well. Yeah, it didn't seem like it, did it? No. I don't. Anyway. Anyway. Um. All right, and that's sick. I yeah. Word to you. I think that's an yeah. awesome, awesome idea for a job. And I mean, throughout. You know, Instagram and social media and your Facebook and your Snapchat, and it, you know, we've discussed it's a hard thing to keep up with, but I mean, um, that's definitely, you know, I guess you would probably ideally say that if you could get to a point where you'd just be getting emails and phone calls from, from tourists just being like, hello, <laughs> is this Gypsy Soul Surfer? I want to, I want to, to, to teach me how to surf. And then, and then you just, you know, rather than sort of searching or hanging, <laughs> wouldn't that be, that would be pretty good, right? Yeah. Get to a point where crew just... Hmm. You know, oh, there's this guy Blake from well, the should call him. I'm keeping in touch, right, with all these overseas travellers through. Oh, not not all of them, because sometimes you know you either don't have Instagram or you just don't get around to doing that. You know, keep in touch kind of thing, which you know. But yeah, definitely the ones that I have kept in touch with, that like, go back to Germany or freaking Finland or to the States or to Canada or to South Africa or wherever they're from. It's so good to have this contact because I just tell them anytime you think about coming back. Uh, hit me up and you know I can guide them in okay well summertime this is good or winter this is good or you know if I if, or if any of their friends are thinking of coming over like straight away they've got a connection they've got someone bet halfway between Sydney and Brisbane that can help them out along the way however it is mm. um, so yeah that'd be cool if it got to a point where you know they're, they're hitting me up even before they're coming over over you know touching down in Sydney or Brisbane or Goldie or wherever and um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Take them, take them camping. Um, you know, take them for a bit of a bush walk and just get the shit out of them with fucking <laughs> fake snakes. I don't know. <laughs> just all that fun stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, whether it's whether I go on their trip with them and just, just kind of be their like wingman kind of thing. Um, some people might might want to do that. They might not be totally comfortable with even the the, the lingo and the, and the language. Like they might not. They might be missing a lot of important info. For sure. Just because we sound like drongos. <laughs> we well, do sound like drongos sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, okay, right. cool. I... I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I'm sure there's heaps. That's why we just need to... Get the good stuff out there. Oh, no, that's why the guys just keep... They just need to follow Life is the Way Instagram. Because you'll be putting up more stuff. Yeah. Uh, your adventures. Gypsy Soul Surfer. Uh, fun stuff. Gypsy Soul Surfer. That's me. All my fun stuff and, and my little projects and stuff that I want to bring to life this year. Not just my own, but other people's. Where I can put my hand up and, and it's a whole like doing freebies kind of thing. But you know, you, you, you plant seeds and you know reap what you sow later on so I'm, I'm all for helping out others and a lot of people can't be in two places at once so you know, sick I dig it I dig you I dig you mate like a bobcat um speaking of let's let me just go real quick um these three questions questions three are the oh okay yeah the magical magical three for all um what's First question, we'll do. We'll save the best till last. Number right. one, what what would you say your challenges are? Uh, like day to day, or just in general? Yeah, whatever. Just, just whatever. What, what, what kind of what challenge are you like? Oh god, it's just something that whatever it might be, man. Like obviously we've all got them, and yeah. you know we're all human. Um, okay, well I guess for me, my uh, I guess some of my challenge, one of my challenges would be holding down a, a full time job. I guess like have, like you know. No, being in the same town, uh, being, you know, rocking up to the same job, you know. I mean, I get it. We're all working to make a bit of cash to make the lifestyle a bit easier. So I guess one of my challenges is, because I am kind of like drop of the hat, like, hey man, like, what are you doing? Like, can you be here tomorrow? Like, we've got some work for you. I'll be like, oh sweet, I'll be there. But then I might get two or three places sort of around the same time that I can't quite fit it all in. 
Um, I know it sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh, that's all right. Horrible life. No, it's fine. That, that's a. But um. You know, that's what it is. I guess, yeah, I guess that's one of my main challenges. Is just. Um, I guess it's not, it is, but it isn't. Like, I'm okay with it. Maybe I think the challenge is that maybe other people might not be okay with it. Yeah, sort absolutely. Of, you know, when the surf's pumping, call up and say, hey, like, the surf's going to be pretty big this week. I might save you the call every morning. I might just take this week off kind of thing. Um, but other than that, I mean, trying to, trying to find somewhere to get a decent night's sleep, that's not a challenge. That's, that's not so hard. I guess I don't really, I, I probably do, but I, I'm, not, I'm not having a mind, man. I don't really think I feel like I have any real challenges. No, it's good. Well, you, you know, it's, a, it's one of them, like you said, hanging out, not yeah. necessarily being able to commit I mean, for, like sometimes for too when long. When, you, when you're down to your last few bucks and, you know, maybe you might call up a few people and say, hey, like, can I work this week? And they might say, oh, well, because you had last week off, we, you know, we kind of shuffled some things around and we weren't sure when we are coming back, so, you know, there might, have, might not be any work this week. But always... Like I said, if I've made food in my belly, I never go without, so... Yep. Absolutely, man. Okay, now that's good. Um, question number two. Who is your everyday hero? Hmm. You're like, oh, it doesn't even have to be, you know, like just... Who's the guy or girl that you're like, oh my goodness, this person is just, like, you know, your inspiration? Just one? No, you can have a couple. Oh, uh, okay. Well... Hmm. That's a good one, actually. I haven't really... I don't know. I mean, I don't... I definitely don't aspire to be anyone else but myself. But if I, I've learned... I mean, there's a few people where, you know, you take a little bit to pieces yeah. and just dig what they're doing. Your biggest teachers, your biggest inspirations. Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you for number one. I really dig what you're doing, clearly. You know? Oh, that's very kind of you no, to say that on camera. I'm not just saying. <laughs> <laughs> if I say, I'll pay you later. So, yeah. Like, I'll slip you 20 for saying that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no worries. No, but really, I really do what you're doing, and that's, I mean, it's, like I said, you're kind of a few leaps and bounds above where I'm at because I'm still trying to just figure out what my my thing is. Yep. And you, you figured that out years ago, and it's taken you a bit of time to get it moving and to get it rolling, and now you're doing it. Yeah. So, it's one of those things, um, things take a bit longer than we first thought, but if you stick with it, it'll, it'll come good, so, you, you, man, you're doing it. Thanks, yeah, brother. A um, few other people, I mean, in my day-to-day -day kind of life, I mean, there's a few, there's, um, my best mate, Tommy, um, he's, you know, we've been really good mates for about 15 years or so, and, um, been through a lot together, and he's doing his own photography, and he's doing uni, and, um, He's got married recently and he's got a couple of dogs and he's, you know, he's, he's chugging along with his own um, photography page, um, Thomas Brown Photo, um, is on Instagram and, and Facebook, I think, Thomas Brown Images, should know, should know this one, it's one or two. <laughs> um, he's chugging along then, um, I've got a good friend, Aloka, she's pumping out the juices in Port Macquarie, um, Raw Juicy Souls, but I think she's in the middle of rebranding, but, um, you know, she's just chugging along, doing her two, three jobs, and just, you know, great ideas, super inspirational, just loving it, full of life. Um, Haley, uh, Tom's sister, you know, she's she's a mum of a young boy, um, and they're about to uh, her and her partner, uh, Mato, and little Eden, who's three today. Um, they're about to jump in a bus and go around Australia. So, you know, so stoked for them. And of course, I mean, I'll, I'll just finish up last but not least, um, my mum, you know, she's, without her I wouldn't be here. And she taught me so much growing up and, um, you know, we don't always see eye to eye, but, you know, she's, uh, she's, she, you know, as you know, people have ups and downs and, you know, she's going through a bit and all that stuff, but that's, you know, and, but she's just still, you know, she still makes me feel like, I can do so much more, as in like, you know, she really encourages me and she's, and she's like, you know, just keep at it, love what you're doing, I tell everyone I'm so proud of my little gypsy boy, and you know, <laughs> so it's really funny, her and her friends get on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, comment on all my photos and, 
get involved, so yeah. Nice. So, if she's anything like you, she must be a legend. Hey, thank you. Hey, hey? Hey, hey. Say hi to her from me. Hey mum. Hey mum. <laughs> um, alright, final question. If you could be somebody else for one day. Mm. Yeah, but it's your brain. So like and I have to explain this clearly. You could be somebody else for one day and you obviously speak like them, you you friends with all their friends, you have their skills, like right. you know, but your brain is in their like do you know what I mean? It's still you. So for instance, yeah. like if you were if you said like Zave Rudd, you could just shred and sing like a boss and you know and just do but, like but you'd be like in your head you'd be like, Oh my god, this is so much fun. I'm gonna go like call John Butler and say good day because I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. Who knows, whatever it might be. Oh wow. Um Oh man, there's so many. Like I guess Jeez, you really got me there. I'm, I'm thinking like surfing world. Someone know. that just catches like just massive, massive waves yeah, or like, something. Yeah, like like Piahi or fucking Mavericks or something. Yeah. Big wave surfers. Oh, too many to choose. We won't go there. Um, so many musicians. Uh, but I'm not naming any any names because I don't want to. Don't want to like you know. If I have to pick one. Um, I tell you what, he's a bit of a curveball. Gary V. Gary V. Yeah. I'm gonna. You have to look him up. Yeah, I don't even know who he is. Gary Tell us. Vaynerchuk. He's his, that's his surname. Well, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Gary V. Look him up. Um, it'd be super interesting to have t 24 hours. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I could have. There's so many people I could have said. I could have said that one guy that. Oh, this is, you know what I mean? Like, I, I could have been anyone. I could have taken, I could have like taken advantage of this question and, you know, gone many different ways. But yeah, Gary V. All right. I have to leave it at that. I'll look him up. Yeah. Um. All right. So Blake, this is so funny. Actually, what's your last name? Oh, you don't know. Nah. Davies. Oh, there you go. I think I did know that actually, but it wasn't there. So Blake Davies, uh, Gypsy Soul Surfer on Instagram. Is there a Facebook? Uh, there is. Um, I think it's just my name. Oh, no, wait, it's, um, I think you can... You can link them. Yeah, just link it up. All right, link or, it up. Um, Blake Snake, but the B is number eight, and the S is number five. There you go. Which coincides with my birthday, 1985. There you go, game changer. Um, sweet, all right, well, I guess, yeah, for anyone out there that wants to find out more, get on his Instagram, at Gypsy Soul Surfer head down to Port Macquarie or up, depending on where you live, for a surf lesson or, or a hangout. I've been hanging out with him for three weeks and yep. it's, it's been so much fun. the most amazing three weeks of the entire trip, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sweet dude. Thanks so much for being the first interview ever. Oh, so much fun. And, um... Let's do it again. Let's, let's have another one sometime. Let's go make some coffee. Well, I don't know if I... Do we, like, shake hands or something at the end now, or what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we just leave it at that. Yeah, I don't know if oh, you... Oh, we can high five, I guess. That's a funny one. Do, 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 do a fart wheel or a... <laughs> <laughs> a fart wheel. Yeah. Tell them what a fart wheel is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a fart wheel is when you, when you and your mates are hanging out and you're having a few babies or whatever and you start doing cartwheels. And you go to that one cartwheel but you accidentally let a fart out and it's really funny. So it's either on the takeoff well, it's when you're halfway upside down and you just, it just comes out. So that's a fart wheel, but doing, what about a piss wheel? Yeah, tell them about a piss wheel. A piss wheel, well... We don't know if it would work not yet. No, we don't know. I think boys and girls would be different, it's just the plumbing is a bit, <laughs> <laughs> a bit different. But um, <laughs> a piss wheel is the same thing, where you sort of dack yourself, you're pantless, you um, continue to make room for more beverages, uh, and then you do a, a fart wheel, which is the normal cartwheel, whilst you're uh, pissing. So it's a piss wheel. And we're not sure how many drops you'd get or where they'd land, but... Or if you'd get any because it would work like the bucket. Like the water in the bucket trick. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and the pissy fart wheel, we'll just put the two together. Yeah. And you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that's in the end of the interview. No, we can, we can edit it. Thanks, All brother. Right, no worries, mate. Maybe, maybe we'll just do that on these ones. Worse. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Gypsy Soul Server, who reckons we look the same? We've been asked that question all week. Are you guys Wait, brothers? Are you guys cousins? Are you guys cousins? Are you guys related? You sound the same. You look the same. Brothers from other mothers. That's right. Right on, brother Fox. All right, that was fun. You, you.